Yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker. His proposed Bill of Rights will mandate British courts to override the European Convention on Human Rights in certain, certain circumstances and restrict access to Convention rights through British courts. But the Good Friday Agreement guarantees direct access to the courts for any breaches of the Convention. So how will he achieve his plans without breaching the Good Friday Agreement? Yeah. Well, thank you. Good question, Ella. Can I thank the Honourable Gentleman? We, we can remain absolutely committed uh, to the Good Friday Agreement with the Bill of Rights, not least because, if he bothered to read it, the ECHR is retained within a schedule uh, to the Bill of Rights. But what he's got to face up to is, at the moment, we have too many foreign national offenders who we can't remove from this country because of things like elastic interpretations uh, of Article 8. And if he really wants, as he beats his chest with a potential reshuffle of the Labour front bench going on, if he really wants to show his mettle, then he should back us in taking every measure to remove foreign national offenders, because that's what the British public care about. Steve Reed. The truth is, he has no answer to that question, and his plans to rip up the Human Rights Act would create fresh divisions in Northern Ireland where there's still no agreement over the protocol. So what discussions has he had about these reckless plans with the Government of the Republic of Ireland or with the US Government, who have made clear that any unilateral attempt to weaken convention rights in Northern Ireland would threaten a future US-UK trade deal? Wait, can I thank him? But he needs to read the Bill of Rights. It envisages staying a state party. It retains in a schedule the ECHR, which is why all of the other concerns that he has melt away. Yeah, this is a man who didn't read, uh, didn't uh, read the Good Friday Agreement, and uh, obviously didn't realise that uh, that Dover played a major part in uh, how we uh, import and export things and things like that. What an idiot, eh? Uh.